All right, so we just recorded our video, okay? So I'm going to show you. Here's my video that I just made, right? Now I shot it with my webcam, and here's how it shows up. Video one, two, four. So the next step we're going to do is we want to help you get the video found. So the first thing I like to do is actually change the name of the video. So I'm still remember that phrase I'm going for. In my case, is um, Cloisters Condos in Arlington, TX, okay? So I'm going to actually change the name of my video file to that before I ever upload it. So now what I'll do is I'll come over to YouTube, I'll click Upload, and I'm going to actually bring in, I'm going to actually bring in that video um, that I just made here. So Cloisters Condos. Okay, so here's what you got, right? So what I'm going to do is we want to make sure that we get that keyword phrase in all the right spots. So we already named the video that, which is why it pulled up like this, and it already put it in the title. Now in your title, you have 60 characters, okay? You don't want to go over 60 characters. So right now, let's see. So right now I'm at 32, right? Cloisters Condos in Arlington, Texas. So maybe I could add something else here, right? I could add um, condos for sale in Arlington, something like that, right? If I wanted to put something else on the back side. So otherwise, you could just leave it Cloisters, Condos, in Arlington, TX. Okay, now, in the description, we want to make sure that we also get that in the description, right? Now, step one is we want to put our link to our website here. So you want people to be able to find your website. What that's going to do is, when you put that in the beginning of the description, it's going to help to show your website up on Google. So ultimately, you know, this video is going to rank on Google. And when it does that your website right here because you're putting it in the beginning of your description will show up on the first page of Google you know when your video is displayed there because it puts the first part of the description so really cool trick make sure that you do that and then basically here we're just gonna write out a small description you know so um, you know I could put like information for people interested in buying a condo Now, I'm just going to leave it at that right now, but you do want to make your description a little bit longer. There's no limit on the amount of text in your description. So, you know, um, I, I would say get a, be a little bit longer with your description. Get your keywords in there a couple of times, right? But the main thing you definitely is want to get that keyword phrase in your description. Really important. So now in your tags, okay, this is also like kind of the hidden side of YouTube, right? You're telling YouTube how to, what other videos to associate with this video. So here again, we want to put like all the keywords, okay? So cloisters, condos, Arlington, TX. I would even put it together, right? Cloisters, condos, Arlington, Texas. Okay, so that's pretty good, right? So again, you could get a little bit more in depth with it. Maybe you go into real estate your broker name, your name, more stuff, right? Like I've got my name on there already, but you could go into a couple of more things, but primarily I just want to make sure that it, it does rank for the cloisters. Now you do want to make sure that you don't go in here and put a bunch of random tags in here just because you want to try to rank for that. If the video doesn't have anything to do with it, then don't put it in the tag. You need to keep it pretty specific. Um, you know, if you want to rank for some other phrase, then make a video for that phrase. Don't try to force, force yourself to rank um, you know for this video here okay so you always have three choices here on privacy settings you can go public unlisted and private what's the difference on um, public anybody can see the video it's searchable um, it shows up in Google um, Google searches all that kind of stuff right unlisted means that it is not searchable people can't just go to YouTube and find it they have to have a link in order to get there so you would put a video unlisted if it's something that you're going to display on your website only you don't want people to find it on YouTube if you want to, it's just like a video you only want to let people see if you choose to let them see it, okay, that would be unlisted. And then private would be only for you to see it. Nobody can get to it with a link or any other way. You have to be logged in and you can see it in your dashboard on YouTube. And that's the only way to actually see that video. Okay, here you can come into put it into a category. I mean, I just leave it in people and blogs. You can change it up though, put it in entertainment, education, whatever you choose, right? So I'm going to save that, and actually it looks like the video is done, but that's pretty much the main steps, right? Change the file name, make sure that it's in the title, make sure it's in the description, 
and make sure it's in the tags. Oh, one last thing I do want to say, if you want to, you can go here on advanced settings and you can change the video location. So for example, if I know that video was shot, you know, in Arlington and that zip code, maybe I want to put that zip code on there, right? Uh, same thing on the recording date. I could go ahead and just put the recording date if I want to. And then so you can hit save changes. And that's it. So those are all the steps you want to take to make your video actually be found.